Hi, if you're new to my channel, my name is Julie, where I talk about all things true crime and anything else you want to hear. And if you're oldie but a goodie, hi, how are you, and God bless you. So, today, guys, I want to talk a little bit about some new information on the Brian Laundry and Gabby Petito thing. Apparently, Brian didn't act alone. I don't know. I don't know. Also, if you want me to do a video on that case, I will. I just didn't talk about it because I felt like everyone else was doing it at that time. And honestly, I think his parents knew. I honestly think his parents knew where his stuff was and where he was. See, I get this weird feeling when, like, you know when you see somebody that's creepy and you're like, <laughs> that, guy, that, guy, that guy looks like a predator. I don't know. I get these weird feelings. And I just had one that was like, uh, hmm. Yeah. So, anyway. A little bit of my update. Um, also, guys. So, I'm sorry I haven't filmed. Because there's something exciting that I'm going to be showing you in like five seconds. I'd like to introduce the new member of the family. Say hello. Say hello to the new Canon camera. I've never used Canon before. I've used this thing before and it's a great camera, but it's very old and it's broken and it wastes too much battery. It wastes a lot of battery life and it was time to retire this thing. This is actually one of my parents' old cameras. I actually use this to film my beginning YouTube. Y'all guys remember, I would film on this thing and it would be bad audio. Now we have this bad boy compared to this one. <laughs> and one thing, I'm going to give y'all guys a few tips with this camera. I'm going to be giving you a few tips with this camera in a few minutes. Anyway, yeah. This is the new baby of the family. My parents actually bought this for me for my birthday. <sighs> so, this thing comes off. Put it back on. This does make a noise when it auto-focuses. It drives me nuts. But I can make it work. Also, use the strap. Don't be one of those people that are like, ooh, like, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. You know how much your camera costs? Probably like 300, 400 bucks. Use the strap. Please. Use the strap. So. Use the strap. This is cool. This is kind of cool. Um, also, if you want to film, press this button back here. Okay. Canon, the Rebel EOS series is the best series to use if you want to be a beginner with photography. That's why I bought my, that's what I wanted. So yeah, my hobby, you know. And um, speaking of, I will be taking photos in a few days, so I have to take some test shots with this. <laughs> I have, but I, what I really like to do for a good test shot, go outside. If you, if you live near, like, nature and stuff, I think it's a great opportunity for you to take some, you know, test shots of plants and stuff. Because you want to see, like, okay, what angle, you know, oh, do I zoom in on this? Do I not zoom? It, it, it will help you tip this tip will help you and yeah also if you want to take a photo you press this button down and I also have the EOS Rebel SL1 this came out in 2013 you guys are probably like why do you have a 2013 camera well it was the cheapest I bought it off of eBay so see baby okay <laughs> so yeah I'm also probably going to get micro lens 
pour it out. Yeah. I'm kind of, I'm not nervous, but yeah. So, those are the tips on this. Use the strap because you don't want to end up breaking your new camera you bought. I love how thick it is, too. So, yeah. Anyway, I thought before I leave, I might bring up the Chris Rock and Will situation. You guys are probably going to be like, you're probably going to hate what I have to say, but I think, honestly, I think it was just some silly, stupid joke that got out of hand, to be honest. I mean, I get Jada, so... Jada's hair started falling out and stuff, but embrace it! If someone wants to make a joke uh, that's funny, just embrace it! She, uh, there was an interview I think she did. She was like, I don't care what people have to say about my bald head. Honey, clearly you kind of do because it was just, to me, it was just a stupid joke. Oh, that's what everyone says. Well,. Jim Carrey actually had a lot to say, and I kind of agree, you shouldn't slap somebody over a stupid joke. I mean, I get, like, I make dark humor jokes on TikTok sometimes. I don't mean it. Like, they're just jokes. But, yeah. Anyway, guys. Um, thanks for watching today's video. And, uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I love you. Bye guys.